I've got it. It's really a case of sleepwalking. It makes perfect sense that I probably hid the diary somewhere myself in my sleep. As a child, I hid things in many places. Now I have to go through them all. I wish it would be so simple. Okay, let's make some light in my life. And some hiding spots. No hiding spots, okay. Okay, let's first see how big the house is. Hiding spot, come on. Perfect. Okay, I take the other direction. There is no other direction. There's something in the room. <laughs> Can you hide by it? No. Come on. Seriously? Okay. This has priority. Now, remember. Remember, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Generally, I need to fill this empty room with something at the very least so that I have somewhere to write. I know. Read that. Very well. Yeah, come on. Are you still here? No, I'm not. the hell Ugh. no please don't Take the clock. No. Take the stupid clock. Oh, come on. How did has to admit the obvious, but he doesn't know how it's beyond him. Okay. Do I have here to go here? Fill the room. Fill the room. Fill it. Who is cheering out the page? Yes. I don't know.
Nothing. Okay. I don't remember the room. The monster. Oh, at least a hiding spot. And the door. Okay, it's a scary room. And I get a bit crazy. Oh gosh. No problem. I'm next to it. and hiding spot, please. Why haven't I looked in here for so long? I don't know. I take. Oh, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Uh. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Lucky. Seriously. Lucky, licky, licky. This was also a bit easy. Everything is alive. This is a game to be played in silence. Two hours before sunrise, gather the guests. Everybody chooses a human for themselves. After that, the guests should move silently through the house. All the guests are focused on their own business. Soon or later, you will hear a voice. Here birdies gather around the marble nest, then everyone should freeze in place. If the rustling continues, that means the game is over and you should stop immediately. The invisible one is among you. I don't know what this means. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now can let them on. Nature's machine. Nature's larger than man. Everything about it is logical. Everything can be. Her laws are simple, eternal, and true. The most reliable of her laws is time. Cycles decay, irrevisible, every repeating. Nothing but time brings order to the world, as it always. It's not here either. There are fewer and fewer blank pages left. We. Oui. This book, books like uh, this, mom, blah blah blah. Ordinary forest topsoil, clay, sand, leaves, and compost. A normal forest, the way it should be. I'm 
terribly tired. I've even started to sleepwalk last night. I woke up standing right here at the door. If I hadn't been bolted, I would have ended up outside at night. This door has to be locked se securely. The first time we learned about the program was the fall, about six months after the unrest. They described it as a community initiative. Most of the tenants gathered in the country yard of our complex. No one knew what was going on. Everyone was shouting, worried and guessing what will come next. All kinds of rumors. It came down to this. They would be removing children as if from unfit parents. For what purpose? Who knew? But against the backdrop of everything our government had done, justified in recent years, the outlook was most sin sinister. At point I decided to grab my son and escape the city to the middle of nowhere. First news about the program. First the summons arrives and they announce a gathering, unusually at a school. Then the door knockers come, young bastards like volunteers wearing some party insignia. They go through the complex with lists and check who shows up and who doesn't. I'm not the only one getting clever. Everyone is getting ready to uh, leave for somewhere. We have already been given another family's furniture to look after. Everything is changing. Parents are hiding their chi kids with other people. So no, now we have to more. I don't leave my child's side for even a minute. Even in my sleep, I hold his hand. The other children sleep with us too. It's crowded. The world is falling apart seems to me this situation is headed for civil war. I had a nightmare that our turn came. We were led to the school show shoved into what used to be the gym. My son and I sat in a cell with a small barred window. I tried to push him through the opening. From the other side came shouts that any kid they catch would be taken unconditionally. There is no suffering worse than this feeling of helplessness. It's past the time when I should leave this apartment, but concern for the children stops me, stumbling around like a sleepwalker. I don't recognize a thing. They took the little ones. I haven't seen them for at least two days. I suddenly found another child in a corner. Who's a, who, who's a, who's is it? No one knows. It sits in the corner wrapped up in a blanket. Doesn't show his face. Doesn't say a word. Something's, mm, sometimes I think it might be a girl. <laughs> 